everyone! Oh, I wonder if you can guess what story we're having today. So, I am a mouse and I've got an eye mask on. Bear is matching me, we've got a matching snazzy jumper on and Al, he's got his eye mask on too. So has Cedric, still with his biscuit. And Boris, you know what he's like. He's got an eye mask on too. He also got next to him a bag, which he won't let me touch. Maybe we'll find out later what's inside it. Yes, today I'm going to read you The Great Cheese Robbery. So, get comfy, get ready. I'm going to take my eye mask off for this story. It's going to be a cheesy adventure. So, on the back we have the, yes, the blurb. So it says, Daddy Elephant is a big and is as big and strong as a tractor, but he's terrified of mice. So when a mischievous mouse tries to steal his cheese, Daddy doesn't know what to do. Can little Patrick Elephant save the cheese and his daddy, or will he need a little help? Okay, here we go, the great cheese robbery. Here, look. Little burglar mice. A bit like burglar Bill. Daddy Elephant was as big and strong as a tractor. Patrick was only small and only a little bit strong. Patrick was scared of lots of things like the dark, ghosties, bees and fluff. The fluff that you find under the sofa. Honestly, go look under your sofa. There will be fluff. Daddy wasn't scared of anything. Boo! Patrick tried and tried to make Daddy Elephant jump, but it never worked. Boo! Nice try. It's not fair, sighed Patrick. You're not scared of anything. But there was one thing that scared Daddy Elephant. Can you guess what it is? One afternoon, there was a squeak at the door. Can you hear your little eeks? Look, Daddy, gasped Patrick. A teeny tiny elephant. Do you think that's an elephant? No, that's not an elephant, cried Daddy. It's, it, it's, a, it's a, m m m m m a mouse. Good day, gentlemen, said the mouse. My name is Cornelius J. Parker from the cheese inspection. I'm here to inspect your cheese. We, we, we haven't got any, stammered Daddy Elephant. Yes, we have, said Patrick helpfully. In the fridge, I'll show you. Cornelius J. Parker made a very thorough inspection indeed. Is everything all right? I'm afraid your cheese is very dangerous. Cornelius opened his briefcase and pulled out a walkie-talkie. They've fallen for it. I'm in. Get here now. I think he's going to do. Soon there was another squeak at the door. <coughs> We're here for the fridge, said the stocky mouse. The fridge? asked Patrick. We're confiscating it on grounds of health and safety, said the skinny one. But, but, but I'm making macaroni cheese tonight, said Daddy. It's his signature dish, Patrick added. It's not, said Cornelius. Mascarpone, Manchego, follow me. There was an awful scream. 
as the mice slid and scraped the fridge across the floor. We can't hold it much longer, boss. Look out! Then the fridge fell with an almighty crash. Don't worry, I'll help, said Patrick. Send me in more backup now. Oof! Gosh, carrying a fridge's got to be really heavy. Suddenly, there was a loud cry from the lounge. The elephant watched helplessly as the fridge marched past and out the door. Adios, amigo! And not just the fridge. The mice took the telly, the phone, the fish, the biscuits, Cedric wouldn't be happy about that, the lamp, and even Patrick's toys. But they're mine! Daddy Elephant gave a little whimper as the mice cheered and lifted up the sofa. Stop! That's my daddy! Patrick shouted in his biggest, strongest voice, but the mice took no notice. Just at that moment, <sighs> Mummy Elephant appeared. What's going on here? Madam, please step aside. Put my husband down or else, shouted Mummy Elephant. Everybody froze. <laughs> Cornelius narrowed his eyes. Well, what else? Patrick's mummy took one big deep breath and boom, sent those naughty mice flying. <coughs> Yikes! Put everything back where you found it and leave us alone. Patrick, Mummy Elephant said, everyone's afraid of something, even your big old dad. But he's still the biggest, strongest elephant around, said Patrick. I am, smiled Daddy proudly, but when it comes to mice, Mummy is the bravest. <laughs> I really enjoyed that story because it gets to So I thought today I could show you really quickly how to make an eye mask for your toys. So what you need today is a bin liner. So you have to check with mommy and daddy that you can use one. And all you have to do is cut it into a long strip or however long you need it to be. Like so. And then tie it around your toy. So if I borrow Cedric here, all I did was tie it around and cut two little holes here and here for his eyes so I've sort of measured where about they were cut two holes out here you might need mummy and daddy's help with this because it can be a bit tricky there we go there's one eye hole then cut out the other you've got to try and cut them out to be the same size though There we go. And then you can tie it around their eyes. And then they can be burglar toys. Just be careful they don't steal anything from your house. So 
so to end our story, I thought, let's have a little look inside Boris's sack. What has he taken? What have you been up to, Boris? Put him there for a moment. You won't believe what naughty Boris has taken. Cheese! But only one piece of cheese. Two pieces of cheese. There's more. Three pieces of cheese. And one huge more piece of cheese. One, two, three, four. Four pieces of cheese, Boris. That's very naughty. And I also noticed Cedric has stolen the entire biscuit barrel. He's put his favourite biscuits in it. The chocolate digestives. So watch out. If you make an eye mask for your toys, that they don't go steaming like mine have. Hope you have a lovely afternoon. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Get your best squeak at the ready, ready?